The dedicated foundry industry was established in 1987 with the incorporation of Taiwan Semiconductor Manufacturing Company. Silicon wafer production at foundries has increased significantly since that time to account for more than 20% of all wafer volume, and that level is expected to double to 40% in just the next three years. Foundries are now an integral part of the overall semiconductor supply chain. Leading the charge at TSMC has been Morris Chang, who got his degrees at MIT in the United States in the early 1950s. Chang has transformed what was at first a niche manufacturing play into a dominant powerhouse force that affects all aspects of the semiconductor design chain across the globe. I'm Brian Fuller, Editor-in-Chief of EE Times. Join us for this special View from Sea Level interview with TSMC Founding Chairman Morris Chang, who gave the keynote at the 2007 ISSCC in San Francisco. So Morris, you talked in your keynote at ISSCC about about the slowing growth rate in the semiconductor business, mm -hmm. the, the maturing growth rate there. Um, talk a little bit about how you see that um, affecting your business um, and affecting the semiconductor business in general. Well, I think it affects all of us. Uh, before year 2000, the uh, semiconductor growth rate was uh, about 16% per annum. Um, there were, of course, violent cycles, uh, sometimes uh, mild cycles, uh, sometimes violent cycles. But uh, over a uh, 40 to 50 time, uh, 40 to 50 year period, there was 16%. Uh, and um, uh, since then, I think we have uh, pretty much agreed that uh, the growth rate. Uh, uh, is going to be uh, much lower. Uh, it will probably be even single digit uh, long term growth rate for the semiconductor industry from 2001 on, uh, maybe uh, single digit. Uh, so it's going to affect all of us in the semiconductor industry. Uh, we, the foundry industry, uh, of course, um, uh, have uh, in the time when we have been in existence, uh, we have grown faster than the uh, total semiconductor industry, and we expect that uh, that will remain so. We expect that we will uh, grow a little faster than the uh, total semiconductor industry. Uh, but uh, the slower growth of uh, the total semiconductor industry is going to is going to affect all of us. Uh. Now, sort of a ch tangential question to that, Morris. I was doing a little analysis a couple of weeks ago, and up until 95, 1995, there was a long stretch in which the average selling prices of semiconductors had been going up for maybe 10 or 15 years, slowly but surely. As you remember, at the end of 95 into 96, we had, uh, we had a semiconductor recession. The ASPs have never recovered from that level. As a matter of fact, they've been going down year after year to this day. And I'm trying to recall what it was about that time that caused that tectonic shift. My guess, uh, I didn't uh, make a uh, special study of it, but my guess, uh, just listening to what you're saying, would be that uh, this was the PC wave. Uh, microprocessors, I think, uh, uh, PCs, uh, particularly microprocessors, uh, the more complex products, uh, and they they tended to have a high average price, which uh, pulled up the uh, total average price, and uh, that was uh, of course uh, the killer application of uh, semiconductors in the 80s and uh, in the early 90s. Now, since then, there has been another killer application. That's the cell phones. But the cell phones uh, don't use uh, the uh, expensive, um, uh, the high price uh, uh, components as the PCs did. So as you, as you pointed out, um, 
the PCs and the microprocessor in general, big killer app for 20 years, drove uh, the industry and then cell phones come along and uh, with much less expensive uh, consumer-oriented ICs have been a driver, but it you know, really hasn't been that killer app uh, on the semiconductors that, that we had seen previously. Do you see any uh, killer apps uh, in the future along the lines of the microprocessor and the, and the PC dynamic? Well, there will be, yeah. I, I think there will be a lot of killer apps uh, now. Well, uh, it's probably a misnomer to, call, to say there's a lot of killer apps. If, if there's a lot, right. then they are not killers. You know? <laughs> <laughs> but I, I, the, the point, I guess, is that there will be uh, many uh, applications uh, that are significant uh, in volume, uh, even though uh, they are not of the magnitude, their, their applications are not of the magnitude uh, that, uh, that we associate PCs and uh, cell phones with. Uh, uh, you look at all the consumer applications, I think that um, uh, they, they are quite uh, large volume. Um, uh, or, you know, thing, small things like uh, cameras, uh, uh, sensors uh, that are used on telephones, on cell phones. Uh, those are nice functions. Uh, and they use uh, fair amount of semiconductors, so. but I wouldn't call it uh, a killer app. Uh, uh, a lot of consumer applications are that way. Mm.